Thank you for tuning in. This is just a brief review of how you can protect yourself from virus particles in the environment, put together by uh, myself and my uh, German uh, colleague Rudolf. Now, protecting your family from environmental viral infections. There's some fairly simple things we can do here. So inside the body, we're sterile. Outside the body, it's not sterile. So one of the main things we can do is we pick up viruses from surfaces. We need to wash our hands, especially after contact with surfaces and objects outside the living area. So if you imagine your house as the clean area and everything in the outside world is the dirty area, that's a good way to think about it. So when you come into your clean area, wash your hands. Before you eat, wash your hands. I'm going to put the link to the hand washing video at the end of this. You can click on that if you want to remind yourselves of how to do that. Regular hand hygiene and hand washing when outside. If you don't have access to soap and water, use alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Studies have shown that people touch their face about 20 times an hour. So just try and avoid touching your face if you can. And with, with practice, you can do that. Avoid eye itching because viruses can get in through the mouth, the nose and through the eyes as well. So avoid rubbing eyes, itching eyes. You can disinfect doorknobs inside and outside the house. So doorknobs, when you, people are touching them with dirty hands, can often get contaminated and viruses can be picked up from those surfaces. Avoid handrails in public buildings. If everyone's rubbing their hands against the banister in a public building, they can accumulate viral particles and again that can be quite infectious. Disinfect shopping cart, at least the handle area. Or of course you can wear gloves. That will that'll protect you as well in public areas, especially hand carts where people are likely to be coughing and sneezing over the, over the handrails. Bring disinfectant wipes with you or, as I say, wear gloves. Avoid contact with other people and all social gatherings. So viruses are going to go from person to person, sometimes via a surface, but we can get them from person to person. So we need to avoid people. We need to avoid their breath, their coughs, their sneezing. We need to stop social contacts. No handshaking, no hugs or kisses. Again, viruses can be spread in that way. Don't share utensils because viruses could be shared by, could be spread by uh, knives and forks and cups, especially if they're not washed in hot soapy water. Avoid restaurants and shopping malls and all public areas where people are and where they're going to be breathing viruses out into the environment. Avoid public transport, especially crowded public transport, and, and indeed avoid any stuffy indoor areas because viruses can spread by droplet infection. So we need to avoid stuffy public areas and transport especially, because it's often very stuffy. Use um, disinfectant dispensers when they are set up. So if there's some hand gels there, utilize them, use the hand gels. Preferring touch-free card payment and avoiding cash. So card payment or contactless payments, good. Avoid touching cash because viruses can stick to the surface of coins and notes. Wear gloves when entering your PIN number or touching other surfaces like touch screens in supermarkets and things like that. Again, people can be breathing, coughing and sneezing onto those and you can pick viruses up and it can go to your mouth. Don't spread viruses yourself. Catch it, bin it, kill it. So if you're going to cough or sneeze, cough into a tissue, then fold that up so that the bit you've sneezed in is folded over and then you bin it. Catch it, bin it, kill it. Now, there can be viruses in the environment as well, as we've said, even on surfaces like the floor. So take your shoes off before you go into your house or your living area. So you're not carrying viruses from the outside environment into your house, because remember, your house is the clean area. You need to keep it clean. Limit visiting from relatives to hospitals to a minimum. So visiting people in hospitals can take infection from you into them and you can pick it up from people in the hospital and take it home to your family. So that's important as well. Public toilets can be extremely dirty places. Viruses can be spread in urine and feces and can be spread into the air when the toilet is flushed. So extreme care and extreme hand hygiene good hand hygiene after using public toilets. 
keep warm if you can because viruses uh, can often survive better in cold environments. And if you have a cold nose, your nose can be runny, the blood supply to your nose can be reduced and it can make it easier for viruses to get into you. This is one reason there's more flu and colds in wintertime because we have cold noses. Good nutrition is important. We can't boost our immune system, but it can certainly go below average if we are malnourished. So good nutrition, fruit, vegetables, enough sugar, enough proteins, no sugars, avoid sugar and avoid refined carbohydrates. And think of your nutrition, a good healthy diet. I take extra vitamin D in winter because vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin and we make that through our skin, mostly from sunshine and in winter we simply don't get it. And remember objects around you like pens and mobile phones and work surfaces can all be quite dirty. So disinfect all these surfaces around about you. These can act as fomites, things that spread infection. So that's just a very quick review. Do share it with your friends how to protect yourself from environmental viral infections.